and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, Hello share, everyone, Flo Joy Fred, drummer and YouTube educator Kenny Sherr is coming to you again with this floor tom right here, this lovely Gretsch Catalina Maple Custom floor tom to talk about one of two tuning concepts we're going to talk about on this floor tom. Tuning concepts with floor toms, a lot of times you want to get them as low as you can go, but sometimes you'll have a lug come out while you're playing, you just kind of tweak it up and the head ends up a little higher than you want it to be. Well, there's two schools of thought that you can go about tuning this head back down to the lower pitch you want. The first one we're going to talk about is tuning up. And this is something I do recommend because it allows you to bounce the head back up to where it's balanced all the way around and then take the head all the way down. So if I check here, this one's not that bad, but these two are definitely lower. And what I'm trying to do is get this head here to a major third. So I want this a little bit lower because I have C sharp on the bottom and I want to match it with an A on top so we can get the max low boom out of this drum in a major third between the top head and the bottom head, or should I say batter and rezzo. So what I'm going to do, and then since I know these two, I'm going to take two keys and work them together. This one a little bit more than this one, which is one of the reasons I use two keys. You can hear it sing right up. And then I'm going to take the whole head down together as one, so it's more balanced as you tune it. And if you notice, as I go down, I always go back up together just a little because tuning up is important. It's just like putting a screw in a wall or like a guitar string. Man, you always want to tune up. You never want to be tuning down. You never want the threads of the tension rod to be going in the wrong direction, the out direction. You want them in the in direction so it stays in tune. So let's check this out. Ray, Ray. So, easy as pie, you've got a major third, and all it was was a little bit of bouncing up, then taking the whole thing down with a little set of turns up and a radio pattern, and you've got the pitch you needed. 